How to spot a child molester? Oh, no, I have no clue. Do you? I, I really have no clue on how to spot. Do you, are there tall tale signs? I think that a child molester would look really creepy, maybe. How do you spot a child molester, you tell me? I would not know how to spot a child molester unless they were in the act of inappropriately approaching a child or molesting a child. I would not know. That would be a good thing to know. Uh, not that I know of, no. I, would, I don't think anyone's ever told me what to look for, how a child molester looks or acts or does anything other than the obvious, uh, you know, of seeing something. I have no idea. <laughs> I, have, I have no clue whatsoever how to spot one. At least uh, from the media portrayal of those, you, they're your next door neighbor or your coach or whatever they are. So I think it's probably not an easy thing to do. You know, the best way to spot it is to know your child, you know. Be with your child, know your child, and look for potential signs or, you know, but to actually see one and spot one, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to do that. No one knows how to spot a child molester. They don't wear badges. Everyone has dark sides. Their sides are darker. More often than not, people who abuse have been abused. Uh, it's, a, it's a replicating sickness, unfortunately. And you do see maybe somebody in a park or somebody kind of eyeballing a child, and I think there's particular things that are very obvious. You see the average Joe next door who's married, he's got three children, and all of a sudden you hear he's a child abuser. So it doesn't, it's not like they have one face. They come in all shapes and sizes. They're women, they're men, they're older brothers, they're uncles, they're aunts. It's, it's not just one face to a child abuser. Um. I don't believe that there is an M.O. as far as, uh, you know, there's no certain look of a child molester or, you know, they don't wear their hair a certain way or wear their clothes a certain way. So, you know, I don't think spotting a child molester, you know, in a crowd of a hundred is, is something that you can, you know, that you can do. Make sure that we communicate with our kids at all levels. Talk to them. Don't just, they are kids, but talk to them. Find out what's going on in their life. You have to be aware of what's going on on the computer and the phone and things like that. I don't know that I know how to spot them, but I can tell you they won't be happy after I do spot them. People don't realize molesters are very friendly and outgoing. That's how they are able to lure children. That's, that's crazy. So look at it's, that way. First it's, off, and it's usually somebody you know and trust. With your no. I have no clue how to spot a child molester. Obviously, um, it's like a thief in the night. You just don't see him coming. But but if you see some kind of sign, like somebody looking odd, or you know, why? I guess watching kids in a weird way. I guess I don't know. <laughs> if you see some guy hanging out if a soccer you see game, some like, adults hanging around in a playground and they don't have any children there, he might be a child are. molester. Yeah, I'm telling uh, you. I'm just going to go with bars. that. You have to be cautious as a parent to make sure you're you're really doing thorough checks on who is choosing to spend time with your child. That's what that's Absolutely. what I would say. And use common sense because they're difficult to spot. And most of them have blue eyes. Hold on a second. <laughs> most of them wear pink shirts and white pants. <laughs> Kidding.